this part gives the details of the climate experience in India. Generally, in Kerala, we know our schools reopen after summer vacation on June. And uh, the, that's the time of severe or heavy rain in Kerala. And uh, our some of our neighboring states. But that June is the hottest month in Rajasthan. And uh, severe cold experiences in Rajasthan on January. <clears throat> Tamil Nadu experiences heavy rain during October and November and Kerala too experiences such a rain and we generally call it as Tula Varsham. It is very clear that the climate in India varies from place to place and time to time. Let's reveal the factors that influence the climate of India. Watch the screen. These are the factors that influence the climate of India. Based on these factors, the seasons in India can be generally classified into four. They are cold weather season, hot weather season, southwest monsoon season and retreating monsoon season or northeast monsoon season. First of all, let's discuss the characteristics of cold weather season. Generally, it experiences in during December, January and February. Watch the screen. This is the condition of cold weather season in most of the northern states of India. India experiences winter when the position of the sun is over the southern hemisphere. We know that India is the part of northern hemisphere and we experience winter when the sun is over the southern hemisphere. Most places in India experience intense fog and snowfall occurs in the valleys of the Himalayas during this season. Let's watch a map that gives the details of the condition of temperature during January. And it clearly shows that the temperature decreases when we go towards north. What's the reason behind it? The fundamental reason for the Variation of temperature is the nearness to ocean, which means most of the southern states are near to the ocean, so their experiences high temperature when we compare with the northern states during January. The phenomena called western disturbance is another peculiarity of the season. The cyclones originating in the Mediterranean Sea during winter gradually shifts towards the east and reaches India. This causes winter rainfall in northern plains especially in the Punjab region and this rain is much beneficial for the winter crops like wheat. Jet streams, the strong upper air currents in the troposphere, have a significant role in bringing the western disturbance to India.
the second season is hot weather season it experiences in march april may and june india experiences hot weather season when the sun is over the northern hemisphere it's in bamar in western rajasthan that the highest temperature of summer is felt lu mango showers etc are some local winds experience in india during this season let's watch another map that also shows the temperature during the month may here the temperature is lower in south than north what's the reason behind it the same that is the nearness to ocean the third season that southwest monsoon season watch the screen and find the direction of flow of the southwest monsoon winds the highest rainfall season of india is caused by these winds when the sun is over the northern hemisphere north indian regions experiences intense low pressure owing to the high pressure over the oceans wind blows from the high pressure zone to low pressure regions that is from the indian ocean to the indian subcontinent as the winds deflate towards right due to the coriolis effect they reach india as southwest monsoon winds and not the point that the highest rainfall season of india is caused by these winds the southwest monsoon winds bifurcate into two branches on entering the land one arabian sea branch the arabian sea branch that reaches the coast of kerala by early june causes heavy rainfall here then it advances to the states of karnataka goa maharashtra and gujarat and causes rainfall in the western parts the rainfall is scarce in rajasthan region because of the monsoon branch entering through gujarat blows parallel to aravalli mountain ranges second branch that is the bay of bengal branch that uh, advances northwards by absorbing more moisture from the bay of bengal on reaching west bengal crossing the sundarban delta it bifurcates into two one branch reaches the northeastern states through the brahmaputra plains and causes heavy rain there the other branch enters west bengal bihar and uttar pradesh this branch merging with the arabian sea branch in punjab plains advances north further and causes heavy rain fall along the foothills of himalayas the fourth reason that is the retreating monsoon season or north east monsoon season it happens during october november comparatively low pressure over the indian ocean causes wind to blow from north part of india towards the indian ocean when the sun moves towards north southern hemisphere these winds known as northeast monsoon winds are dry winds that do not generally cause any rain in india this season termed as northeast monsoon is actually a transition period between the rainy season and the forthcoming winter so it is known as retreating monsoon season and the phenomena that is october heat happens during this time the season experiences during the month of october and november and makes the days unbearable due to high temperature and humidity the winds blowing from the land to sea 
due to the attraction of the low pressure over the bay of bengal takes a northeast to southwest direction it absorbs moisture from the bay of bengal and causes rainfall along the coromandel coast especially the tamil nadu coast and this is the main rainy season of tamil nadu kerala and some parts of karnataka and the rain getting this season is known as tula varsham this is the map of india which describes the distribution of rainfall based on that map try to write the answers give for the questions given there and note it in your notebooks